Hello everyone, we are here today to talk about a trading checklist or a trading plan which usually go hand in hand. First of all, we will start off with this checklist that I personally created and if you find it helpful, make sure to comment below and tell me that you found it helpful so I will send it to my free Telegram channel and you will be able to download it for free. Uh, I hope that you appreciate giving me, giving you, sorry, this checklist for free uh, and make sure to be on my free Telegram channel in order to receive it. I will send very, very soon the file so you can just download it and if you want, print out this checklist. So first of all, we will start with our goal. The goal is not for a singular trade but it is in general your trading goals both in the short run and in the long run. So first of all, you will start off by saying maybe your weekly goal, then stating your monthly goal, then your yearly goal, and maybe in the long term, maybe in 10 years, your trading goals. Uh, of course, uh, there is someone that will put very big goals. It is good to have big ambitions, but make sure to also put uh, goals that are achievable. Uh, it is very good to aim big, to, to go for, I mean, very big profits, very big uh, goals but also make sure that your goals are also achievable. That's really important. So for example, an example could be um, weekly, I want to make uh, 10 per uh, five to 10%, monthly, I want to make um, 20 to 30%. I don't know, yearly, I want to double my account, so make uh, 100% profit. And in the long term, I want to be able to cover all my expenses, uh, cover my cost of living with trading. Or maybe if you want to go higher, you say uh, maybe buy a car, buy a house or whatever. Everyone has different goals and make sure to choose yours correctly. Also, they have to correspond to your experience. If you're just starting out, so maybe it is your first month uh, in trading, you want to say like, uh, I want to be able in a couple of months or maybe in uh, 10 to 15 months, I want to be able to cover my rent with trading or maybe to cover my telephone bill. I mean, if you want to start small, you start with the telephone bill, then you move, you move on to the rent, then you maybe move to the food plus rent, uh, and then you can aim for buying a car or buying whatever. Everyone has different goals. I'm just giving some examples, but also make sure that they are achievable. Uh, if you're just starting out, maybe it is your first or second month in trading, don't just say I want to buy a car this year with trading because that's I don't I don't want to say that it's impossible because of course it's possible but it's very very hard also because you are just starting uh, for that reason when you are a beginner just start with small goals let's move on to trend direction if you see a so now let's move to the part where we analyze a particular setup. So this is just long-term, this is long-term goals, and this is just for one trade. So when you see your chart, and um, let's say you're looking at EuroJPY, and EuroJPY, there is a buy opportunity. So let's say you go here to the checklist and you say trend direction. So you have to see first if the market is trending or if the market is ranging. Trending, it means that it is either going to the upside or downside. So it is either in an uptrend or downtrend. And ranging means that it is going sideways. In this case, I personally only trade when the market is trending. Of course, everyone has different rules, but it is important to understand in what market environment you're in. 
So if you only trade when the market is trending, just like me, you will check market is trending if it is. And in this case, you will trade. If otherwise the market is ranging, you will check market is ranging. And even if there is an opportunity on Euro JPY or whatever pair, you don't want to enter the trade because the market is ranging. And for your rules, you don't enter trade when the market is ranging. Let's move on to the news. I checked the news, yes or no. If you check the news, then you can enter the trade. If you didn't check the news, you cannot enter the trade because you don't know if there are any news very soon that could affect your trade. So if you didn't enter the trade, you check no, and you either don't enter the trade or you go and check the news. And after that, you decide whether to enter or not the trade, depending on if there are news very soon or not. Then we move to the risk reward, minimum one to two. This is actually one of my rules. You can change this checklist however you want. I'm putting my rules. So for example, it is my rule that I trade only when we are trending. It is my rule that we only trade when there is a minimum one to two risk reward ratio. So if there is a minimum one to two risk reward, then we enter. If there is not, so we have maybe a one to one risk reward, then we don't enter the trade, even if it is a good setup. Then we, we move on to the section of why am I entering this trade? It, is, it could be either because the price is at support and resistance, because there was a breakout maybe, Fibonacci levels, there is an indicator confirming my bias, or, and also you have to check that you're not going against the trend. So this is a checklist and you have to check more than one. If you have only one of these, you don't want to enter the trade. So an example is that if you only have Fibonacci levels that are giving you a buy or a sell signal, you don't want to enter that trade. If you are only at support, you don't want to enter the trade. If there was a breakout, but there is no other confirmation, you don't want to enter the trade because what you're looking for is a confluence. Confluence is key. Please remember that I always say that. So in this case, you want more things to add to your technical analysis. In this case, it could be that price is at support and resistance. So you check. Uh, there are Fibonacci levels, for example, the point uh, 618 Fibonacci level that is at the same level as your support, let's say. So you actually check also the Fibonacci levels. And there is an indicator also confirming your bias. And of course, that you're not going against the trend. So in this case, you will have a lot of confluence and you can enter the trade. Remember that if you have only one check, you cannot enter the trade, but if you have more, then go ahead and enter the trade. After that, of course, we will put what the result of that trade is, either a win, a loss, or break even, which means that maybe you closed at entry or maybe the trade moved to profit and then you moved stop loss to entry and it was closed at entry. After that, it is really important to put the comments and what you have to improve. Of course, if this is a win, you only put the comment on why you went to the right direction and why you won that trade. So for example, you can say, uh, I believe that I won this trade because I checked the news, the direction, of the market was trending to the upside. I entered a buy, so I didn't go against the trend. We were at a support level, which, had, which also corresponded to Fibonacci levels, and maybe an indicator confirmed my bias. So you write this in the comment, and you will need this for future times in order to always remember why some trades 
went to take profit and some trades went to a loss. If you have a loss, then you will put why you think you lost. Maybe you didn't check the news and uh, the technical analysis, analysis was perfect, but there was a news that made your trade go to stop loss. Or maybe um, everything was fine, but you were going against the trend. So for that reason, the trade didn't go in the right direction, which you wanted. For these reasons, uh, after maybe a month or two months, you will have a lot of reports on why your trades are going to a win or a loss. And after that, if you go back and read each comment, and each trade why it went to a direction, you will understand why winning trades are winning and why losing trades are losing. After that, you will actually be able to increase your accuracy and enter better trades. With that being said, as I said already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more educational videos and also to my Telegram channels, you find the link in the comments below, because I will send this checklist so you can download it on my free Telegram channel. So make sure to go on the channel and be ready to receive this checklist. If you don't see it, just go to the media section and you will find it. Be ready and see you on the next video.